think we need to look at how we, we really uh, level the playing field uh, in South Africa. So today's occasion demonstrates the value of partnership in the beginning uh, to address these challenges. It is also a reflection of our purpose as a business, which is to power better lives in Africa and beyond. Exaro aligns itself with standards set up by the Department of Education to support the common goals of achieving educational outcomes. Education is the backbone of this country, and it's very important that as we transition into the new world, we don't leave our kids behind. We make sure that they have the necessary skills in order for them to progress in life. One thing that COVID-19 has done to us was to expose our society in terms of lack of equality. We were in one month forced to, to do homeschooling and you get schools in the area that don't even have Wi-Fi. You know, other schools that are more privileged, that are more advantaged, their education was not disturbed in that process. Uh, whereas when it comes to our schools in the villages, children couldn't learn. We were empowered by Exaro, and our responsibility is to empower generations that come beyond us. Logunye le sikjable la gugutsi skati le se COVID-19. When a social distancing, our learners were alternating days. So today, as you have received those new classes, by okona gugutsi bangi ne bonge. At the same time, they will be social distance. You know, once we give our kids education, no one can ever take it away from them. And that is going to be an important tool as we make this transition to a new world that we all have to create and we all have to participate in. So partnership is very important, especially going forward with the challenges that we face in the economy. It will be one of the building blocks in ensuring that we ultimately achieve uh, success as a country and in society at large. According to the Constitution of our country, Chapter 2 of the Bill of Rights, Chapter 29 under the Bill of Rights of Education, one of the duties of the department is to build schools and provide teachers. I wish to extend our gratitude to Exaro Mind and the core sponsors for assisting us in implementing this chapter. We are very proud of these two companies, of which is one today, Exaro and Arnold Opco for the responsibility they've taken and shown an interest of developing communities around the municipality of Steve to the local in order for us to have a better living and a better life for all. And uh, we're very pleased to, to have a partner like Arnold Opco. At the same time, we had been building very good relationships with the local municipality and the Department of Education which actually extended to the district uh, municipality. And so it has really been the combination of those partnerships that have made this project happen today. Let me also pick it up from what the HOD have said in taking care about the infrastructure that we find or that we have been given. Indeed, in partnership with different stakeholders, in particular those that are here today, and I can attest with Exaro. I'm from Emalasheni. They are doing a wonderful work at different spaces in our locality. We really do appreciate uh, deep partnerships to really create this inclusive, considering the needs of the young, the needs of the women, youth, and people with disabilities. This is something that we live for in Exaro. So, Siabangara Kulu, as our learners, they come from disadvantaged areas. Disadvantaged, my family is able, unemployed parents. So, the Siabangara Kulu, who is able to be able to receive a better education in the comfort environment. In English, they say it takes a village to raise a child. <laughs>